Well, hello there. I'm Phil the Storyteller. And I'm Will, the music teacher. And we've got a story for you today. Now, this story was told to me by someone, and I can't remember who, and I'm sorry I can't remember, but this is how it goes. Once there was a courtroom in Fairyland. The courtroom was very solemn because there was a big trial coming up, the trial of the big bad wolf. The judge came in. The judge was an owl wearing a wig. Everyone bowed at the judge and the judge sat down. And the judge said, good morning everybody, we're here for the trial of the wolf. Now, who's persecuting, I'm not prosecuting the wolf. I am, your honour, said a squirrel. Oh, good. Now, send up the witnesses. Well, the first witness to come up was Little Red Riding Hood. She came up licking a disgusting lollipop. <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. Oh, hi, John. Oh, my dear Red Riding Hood, what a fragrant person you are. What have you got to say against the wolf? Well, Judge, guess what, yeah? He tried to eat me. He, he ate my granny. He ate the woodcutter. He ate Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. What? Said the wolf. No, 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 no. I, I know I'm big. I know I'm bad, but I didn't eat any princesses. I don't like princesses. They're too sugary. I don't eat princesses. Quiet, wolf. Be quiet. The fragrant witness has spoken. Please take your seat, Red Riding Hood. I believe every single word you say. The next witness. Well, I called the gingerbread man. Now, the gingerbread man got up. He was wearing a pinstripe suit. He was smoking a disgusting cigar. Oh, yeah. Hello, Your Honour. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, gingerbread man. Tell us, what did the wicked wolf do to you? Oh, well, let me tell you something. <sighs> he tried to eat me. Then he tried to eat Snow White. Then he tried to eat Peter Pan. And then he tried to eat Alibaba. Look, my, oh, Your Honour, that's a lie. That's a lie. I am a wolf. I don't do that kind of thing. Quiet, wolf, quiet. Well done, gingerbread man. You're very, very brave. Sit down. Wolf, from now on, you are excluded from seeing any of the people in Fairyland. If you go near the Red Riding Hood, or the gingerbread man, or anybody. We will be rearrested and thrown out of fairyland. Court adjourned! The wolf went back to his kitchen. The wolf sat in the kitchen, and the wolf thought, well, if I can't eat little girls, if I can't eat gingerbread people, little pigs, or anything like this, I'm going to starve. I remember when I was just a young cub, I used to run home, and Mum used to be there, and Mum used to say, Wolfie, sit down and eat your pancakes, and she used to make pancakes for me. Maybe I could live on pancakes and remember my Mum, but I don't know how to make pancakes. Oh, but I've got a recipe book, and there's only one person in Fairyland knows how to read, and that's Red Riding Hood. I know I've got an exclusion order, and I know I'm wearing a tag, but I'm going to go round to her house to help her, or to get her to help me read the recipe book. He went round to Red Riding Hood's house. Red Riding Hood had a beautiful little cottage with roses round the door and a white picket fence. He went up, he knocked on the door, boo, 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 and then he ran, jumped over the fence, so there was a good distance between them. Red Riding Hood opened the door. Yeah, who's that? Oh, it's you, it's the wolf. I'm going to tell the judge. Oh, no, please don't, Red Riding Hood. Don't tell the judge. Please don't tell the judge. Please don't tell the judge. Just, would you help me? I want to make some pancakes, but I don't know how to read the recipe book. Oh, you don't know how to read. You must be stupid. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. Yeah, 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 you, you must be really, really, really stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm really, really, really stupid. Could you could you read the recipe book? Yeah, I'll read the recipe book. Only if I can kick you in the leg. What? said the wolf. 
You can't kick me. But one look in Red Riding Hood's face, and he knew he wouldn't get the recipe unless he let her kick him in the leg. So he said, yeah, you can kick me in the leg, but bare feet, no run up. Okay? He closed his eyes and waited. Red Riding Hood went into the house, got her dad's hobnailed boots with the steel toe cap. She had a massive run up. Eh, 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 and she kicked the wolf in the leg. <laughs> the pain was excruciating. The wood went, oh God, oh my leg, my poor leg. Okay, you've kicked me in the leg. Now, will you read the recipe book? And she said, um, hold on a minute, let me think about it. Um, 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 no! <laughs> well, the wolf went, saw leg, no pancakes, and he thought, ooh, the gingerbread man, he's made of kind of a pancake. I'll go to his house. Now, the gingerbread man lived on the bad side of the wood. He lived in an enormous mansion with horses' heads on the gate and uh, wagon wheels in the, the wall. Well, the mansion was having a party. And the garden was full of beer cans and all sorts of horrible things. He came up to the door. He rang the doorbell. Diddling ding, diddling ding, 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 ding. If the doorbell sounds like that, run. But the wolf didn't. The door was opened by one of the gingerbread man's best friends. Oh, oh, oh look, it's a wolf. Oi, oi, everyone, everyone, everyone. Look, look, look. It's the wolf. The gingerbread man came. He wore a James Bond dressing gown and a cravat and smoked his disgusting cigar. And he said, well, 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 if it's the wolf, I'm going to ring the judge. Oh, no, don't ring the judge. Don't ring the judge. You're made of a bit of a biscuit, aren't you? Yeah. So what of it? Well, um, can you... No. Do you know how to make pancakes? Can you make pancakes? Yeah, I can, I can make pancakes. Do you want to know how? Yes, please. Okay, I'm going to tell you how to make pancakes. As long as I can pull your tail. Nobody pulls back. One look in the gingerbread man's face. And he knew. He couldn't get any pancakes unless he allowed his tail to be pulled. He offered up his tail and he closed his eyes and he said, okay, just use one hand, that's all. But the gingerbread man got all his gingerbread friends. Oi, oi, come here, come here, come here. We're all gonna pull the wolf's tail. All right, everyone grab it on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> the pain was excruciating. You must never, ever pull an animal's tail. The wolf turned around and said, you've pulled my tail, gingerbread man. Now, will you tell me how to make pancakes? What? Pancakes? You didn't ask me how to make pancakes. I did. No, you didn't. You're a liar, wolf. And guess what? If you stand here any longer, I'm going to call the judge. The wolf turned and he ran with the ringing laughter of all the gingerbread men in his ear. As he sadly went home, he saw a boy, a kind of a year four boy. And he said, Oi, boy, uh, don't be frightened. I know I'm a big bad wolf. Just don't be frightened. I just want to know. Could you read the recipe book? The boy said, Yeah, of course I can. Do you want me to read it for you? Yeah, will you? He gave the boy the recipe book. The boy read it out. Well, first of all, you've got to get some eggs and and the wolf thanked the boy, ran home, and he started making his pancakes. He mixed up the mixture. He tossed the pancakes. He tossed them. He tossed them like his mother used to toss them. And then he made a huge stack of pancakes. It was this high. And then he put them on the plate. And he put on honey and lemon and cinnamon and ice cream and giraffe ice cream and um, toffee and chocolate squeeze. And it all went into every single pancake. And he got his serviette and he put it on and he got his knife and he got his fork and he was just about to cut into the pancakes when boom, 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 there was a knock on the door. Huh. Why is there always a knock on the door when you're just about to do something nice, said the wolf. Well, he went to the door, opened the door uh, and outside the door was the gingerbread man. And that red riding hood. Hi, Wolf. Hi. Yeah, listen, Wolf. 
me and Red, we was walking through the woods and we smelled your pancakes and we thought to ourselves, we should look a bit hungry, ain't we? Yes, we are. So what we're going to do, we're going to come into your house and we're going to steal all your pancakes and there's nothing you can do about it. Because if you do, we we'll just tell the judge. And they walked into the wolf's house. They pushed him over. He fell on the floor. And then they started eating his pancakes. They didn't use a knife and fork. They used their hands and they ripped the pancakes and they stuffed the pancakes in their mouths. Sugar and ice cream all over the place. The wolf was so upset he turned. He was going to leave the house, sit outside till they'd finished and then go back in. And as he went towards the door, Red Riding Hood said, I'm Gingerbread, look at the wolf, he's such a coward. The wolf stopped. The wolf didn't go out the door. Instead, the wolf closed the door. The wolf locked the door. The wolf went to the curtains and closed all of the curtains. He closed them because he didn't want anyone outside to see what he was going to do. And then he ran around the table, chasing Red Riding Hood and the gingerbread man. And Red Riding Hood said, if you touch me, I'm going to tell the judge. And the wolf said, if you tell the judge, I'm going to eat the judge. Because you see, the door is locked. Curtains closed. You're in my house and I'm hungry. And he grabbed Red Riding Hood by the ankles and he put her ankles in his mouth and then her knees and then her hips. She screamed and screamed and screamed and when the head went in, he stopped screaming. There was a silence in the house. The gingerbread man was quaking in the corner. The wolf saw him. The wolf ran round, grabbed the gingerbread man, broke off one leg. Do I? Shall I do another leg? No, I'm gonna do your arms now. Yeah. I'm gonna do your body now. The gingerbread man screamed and screamed stopped screaming when the wolf put him in his mouth and you know what the wolf still had a little bit of room in his belly for a big stack of pancakes my dear friends that is the end of the story It one. That's a scary one, Phil. There's a lesson there, my dear friends. If you see someone in trouble, don't tease them. Well, it's goodbye from me, Phil the Storyteller. And goodbye from me, Phil the Music Teacher. Bye now. Bye bye.